Chapter 9. With, the, with great power comes a great big pain in life. Um, okay. Melvin enjoyed being a superhero at first. It was fun stopping runaway trains, rescuing lost children, and saving people from burning buildings. Whenever anybody needs help, all they have to do is lift their heads to the sky and cry out, Yo, Big Melvin! And Big Melvin would drop whatever he, he, he was doing and zip to the scene and save the day. It was all good at first, until it started to get bad. You see, after a while, people started to amuse the system. They started crying out, Yo, Big Melvin! All the time. And it got old pretty quickly. Melvin would drop everything, throw on his cape, fly out the window, zip through the city, and arrive at the scene, only to find out that it wasn't an emergency at all. Usually it was just someone who had misplaced her cell phone, or a kid who needs help with the video game, the cheat, video game cheat code, or, or some guy who accidentally dropped his wallet in the, in the toilet. It was a complete waste of Melvin's time, and the interruptions were, be, were beginning to drive him crazy. But the final straw came one e evening as Melvin was doing his circuitrism radioaction experiment with his homemade off-screen field practical accelerator. Eleven months of research were finally about to pay off. The Kai, the Kai, the Kai strings, and the retrospectives began to accelerate the horns faster and faster through Melvin's homemade co copper copper line tubing tubing. Soon, Melvin would be the first person on Earth to, to definitely prove the Hings, the Boston's extinct, and solve the mystery of everything. But then, it was a super heroic air drums. Melvin heard a cry and help out across the city. Quickly, Melvin shut down his experiment, which chased a practical accelerator to overheat. The resulting explosion blew a hole in the bedroom floor for 40 feet deep. But Melvin didn't care. Somewhere in the city, a citizen needed his help. So he grabbed his sewing cape from a pile of ashes that used to his bedroom closet and flew to the scene of the emergency. When he finally arrived, he found a middle-aged woman screaming frantically out her apartment window. You big woman! Help! Help! It's an emergency! What's wrong? Melvin asked desperately. Asked the lady 